Residential demand is growing. As we continue to push power down the lines, distributed energy will be one of the most effective solutions on delivering power where it's needed. Regional generation has been part of our history for the last 75 years. Most of it has been generated by coal and some by natural gas. Distributed energy systems like the GridFox will take a new look at that to be able to push power closer and more effectively to the customer. Distributed energy is being able to put energy down where it's actually being used. That's different from traditional power supply. You have a power plant and you have generators at your power plant. You transmit that over transmission lines to substations, from substations to distribution lines, and then you actually reach the end consumer. When you transmit power over lines, you have losses, and that's power that you're not getting revenue for. With distributed generation, you actually place that source of power next to the end user, which is on the distribution lines next to the consumer. When we started Wellhead Energy, our goal was to provide clean, secure, and affordable energy to rural places in America by using those existing gas supplies that were there. Distributed energy is the future for the United States and probably even the world. There are many places in the world where distributed energy is being used effectively already. Distributed generation has been around for years. It's uh, technically sound. You have to do some system impact studies, figure out how it's going to affect your voltage or your coordination, figure out where you're going to put the distributed generation source on your lines, and actually just implement it. It's a very simple process. Residential demand is growing. Industrial demand is flat. Where the growth is is where we are. The regional power plants can no longer keep up with the demand. Folks that are out here, their demand is growing because they're buying bigger TVs and plugging in more telephones and all that other kind of stuff. But all these people live out on these tiny little lines we see. So our box works on tiny little lines. What we're looking to do with the GridFox system is to augment those power plants, to be able to provide safe, effective, and clean power down closer to our customers. We have seen over a million and a half megawatt hours of energy, approximately 370 kW uh, generated each month. We created the GridFox unit to be set up and installed within seven day period of arrival. All we have to do is find an interconnection to the gas and an interconnection to a three phase pole and can also be dismantled and moved if necessary. The box is divided up into three separate sections gas cleaning and compression, where we're able to take the gas, clean it, and then provide that directly to the engine. Then we have the engine compartment, where we keep the engine and generator. The third component and room of our system is the computer control and intertie connection, which is all of the pieces and parts you need to be able to hook directly into the electrical grid. Within that box, we're able to control, to start, to stop, to measure its efficiency and to also understand what pieces and parts we may need to bring at our next service. It's quite an intuitive system. You know, as our members look at what we're doing to uh, keep the environment clean, distributed generation sources are a good way to do that. It has a much smaller carbon footprint. We feel at Wellhead Energy, it's very important that we be environmental stewards at every place that we put one of our systems. By putting distributed energy out there, you don't see any smoke coming out of the top. You hear how quiet it is. Both those things are very important to be able to put energy where it's needed, but to also be supportive of the neighbors around us. Due to technological advances that we have put in this box, as well as the huge amount of natural gas that is available, we can develop power and distribute power as cheaply, if not cheaper, than the large regional power plants. You can purchase the power cheaper than your wholesale power supplier, which actually saves the utility and the member money. You can place that source of power closer to your consumer, and you can defer infrastructure costs. If you have a substation that's overloaded, you can actually put distributed generation on that circuit. We're there to provide backup, additional power, voltage control. It also helps the generators because now the generators can send their power to more useful, larger areas where the cooperatives now are able to make their own. We can help stabilize the grid and provide much more customer satisfaction to all of the residents. We can't be any more excited about the future of distributed energy.